It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Chicago Bears and the Indianapolis Colts. Coming up next. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And off we go on EA Sports. And able to get this out to the 25. So here come the Colts to take over for the first time. And leading the way is the number four pick in the draft out of Florida. Here's Anthony Richardson. The moment Anthony Richardson's name was announced as the fourth pick in the 2023 draft, it changed the landscape and probably our viewing habits with the NFL. He is must-see viewing. Tremendous athlete, not a lot of experience, but the ceiling as high as it possibly can be. A running play there, going to get 11 as they get a quick first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down at seven. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside and finished off the runner for a loss. On third down, here's Richardson. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 42. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Richardson. And he's got Pierce. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Richardson to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, that play there was certainly a scouting report special because coverage was all too aware that this close to the end zone, he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Richardson on second and 10. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. The Colts send out their new kicker for 2023, Matt Gay, for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Gay's kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. 
Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, it kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now Jones. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college, and last season, he unleashed it upon the NFL. Ran for over 1,100 yards and would have broken the quarterback's single season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete there to Moore. So just three yards on the completion there. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Fields. And this is gonna be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep, Isaiah McKenzie. Take it at the 37. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. From the shotgun, Richardson. This will be caught by Brown. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. There, Richardson back to throw it. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They're going right back to Pittman. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. Now Richardson looks to throw once more. Got a man, it's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts touchdown. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Colts are able to stretch out their lead. 
They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead grows to 10 nothing. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. A man who led the league in yards per carry last year. It's Khalil Herbert. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. Off play action, Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On second down, a run with Herbert. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Well, now after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. For the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 26. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. They run with a former Panther. It's Deontay Foreman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Foreman's going to get it again on second down. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Fields now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target. 
able to pick up another first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Foreman powering ahead. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Out of the gun, Fields. The throw left side taken in by Komet. And the Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Foreman. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They run again with Foreman. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Deontay Foreman. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are back within a score. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was finished off by Deontay Foreman on the touchdown run. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And that's the type of run we expect out of Taylor. We all remember his all-pro season in 2021, leading the league in yards and touchdowns. Not quite those heights in 2022 when he missed time with an injury, but in only 11 games, still reached nearly 900 yards. When he's healthy, tough to find a better runner in the league. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Richardson off the play fake, and that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again, it's Richardson on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest.
Richardson on third and short. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Alley Cox, complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. They run once more with Taylor. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. The former third-round pick, Justin Jones, bringing the lumber that time. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. On fourth down, the Colts will call on Rigoberto Sanchez for the punt. The speedster Dante Pettis back deep to return. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Fields. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Fields. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Grover Stewart getting in there for the sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. Here's Fields now on second down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. On third down, Herbert. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime.
And here's Trenton Gill on to punt. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. That's complete to Pierce. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, we could talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. First and ten, it's Richardson. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Richardson. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Yeah, Richardson yet again. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just loft one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. Jones now on the return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Read option. Here's Herbert. 
And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And he'll get this up to about the 44. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. From the 44-yard line, here's a second down and six. On the option right is Fields. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. To throw his fields. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Bottom line is that he is just something else as a runner because there are not many QBs in this league who can rip off a game that big, and he did it with the defense giving him a little extra attention after he hit him on a run earlier this series. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And not much running room down to the 32. And there to stop him, Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and nine. In motion left, Claypool. And he's going to handle it on the touch pass. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another and he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Khalil Herbert, 22 yards. And the Bears have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just there, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. And connecting here with Pittman on the out route. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. 
Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Taylor. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. From the 33, here's second and four. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Off play action, Richardson. He'll get this one to Pittman. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Three yards remain for second down. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. Touchdown, Colts! Michael Pittman, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. We switch the attention now to Khalil Herbert as this offense comes out for their next drive. So he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yes. I've got to slow down the running game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. 
What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. From the gun, here's Fields. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. From the 50, here's Fields. That's complete right side to commit. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So first and 10 now from the 30. Herbert powering up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Throwing on third down, Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run here with Herbert. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Santos with the extra point, And that will make this a four-point game. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. And that's something we didn't see very often when Tremaine Edmonds was in Buffalo, him rushing the quarterback. He's been a tackling machine throughout his career, but maybe the Bears get a little more involved in the pass rush as we just saw there. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. 
Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about its desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and 19. He's got his man. It's Pierce. It's a 15-yard pickup. But it'll lead to a fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Bears take over. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal in the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end and you still have the lead. And they run the option here on first and 10. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 24 yards the game there, another first down as well. He's been pretty good with his legs in this game, a really nice game there. Defensively, they've been okay covering downfield, but you got to account for the quarterback, right? Yeah, and that's the hardest part because normally when you play 11-on-11, 11 11, it's truly not 11-on-11. 11 11. Defensively, you don't account for the quarterback in the run game. You account for everyone else and hope that you can catch him before he gets to the first down marker. But as you noticed, he's been doing it a little bit. This time he saved his best for this run. Yeah, saving one of his best for the fourth quarter. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. A play fake now fields to throw. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Moore, the motion man right. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Fields. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll make this a seven-point game. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
So Richardson and the Colts now down 24-17. A minute 54 on the clock. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Richardson. And his throw is incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here 100 times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Another try, second and 10 now. Richardson to throw it. And that's complete to McKenzie. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here now, third down. Now Richardson. And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Another big play in a game that's had plenty of them. Fourth and two. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Richardson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. And another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down, and now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down, and after that, the air just went right out of the balloon, and you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So now the story changes. Trailing in this one now. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, it's pretty difficult to summon up offense in a two-minute drill. When your guys have struggled to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. 80 seconds remain, second and 10. Here's Richardson. Finding Pittman. 
And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Second and ten. Back to the air with Richardson. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 43. Well, he's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. They'll come up now on second down. Throwing again. It's Richardson on second down. The toss here completed to Pittman. They'll come up first and ten here. Again, it's Richardson. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here's first and ten. First and ten, it's Richardson. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Here's second down. One last shot for Richardson. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Indy.